My name is William Brewer. My book is I Know You're Kind. It's my first book of poems. Uh, the first poem I'm going to read from it is Oxiana, West Virginia. None of it was ever ours. The Alleghenies, the fog-strangled mornings of March, cicadas fucking to death on the sidewalks, the pink heads of rhododendrons lopped off by the wind. We wrestled earth with alchemy, turned creek beds into wine glasses the Roosevelts used at state dinners, fueled fires hot as the sun's dreams. And there was light, a mile deep in the underworld mines, beaming from our foreheads like wings through dust. Not even the days we called beautiful, autumn weekends when D.C. drove in to take pictures, women in silk dresses picking our apples, posing, holding our bushel baskets with a tenderness we'd never known. Snow days, belly crawling onto the frozen lake to hear the ice recite the Iliad. Not Hog Hill where massy energy dumped cinder, the gray waste between breaths, poisoned trees black like charred bones, where we burned cars while girls wrote our death dates on our palms with their tongues. Even now, rain choking the throats of smokestacks, the river a vein of rust and trash. Have you ever seen so many cold faces slapped in the afternoon? So many voices screaming, wake up. This is beyond desire. This is looking through a hole in the wall around heaven. How do you forget that? A world without ruin. A world that can't be taken. Where once was faith, there are sirens. Red lights spinning door to door, a record 24 in one day, all the bodies at the morgue filled with light. Who can stand another night stealing fistfuls of pills from our cancer-sick neighbors, of the rail cars crying, the timber trucks hauling away the history of a million birds? Pitiful, maybe, but oblivion is all we have. And if we want to chop it down, or dig it up, or send it screaming into our hearts, it's only now that our survival is an issue. Pin oaks arm wrestle over the house as barrel fires spark like stars in the valley. Day closes its jaws. I can hear my brother explaining how when Jonah woke inside the whale, he didn't know where he was. I'm not saying this ends with a leviathan, but I'm not saying it doesn't. Here it comes, rising through the floor the voice that tells me I'm tired of the world, that pulls me down to its pale kingdom. Should someone find me, they'll scream, stay with me, as they fish my tongue from my throat. Should I wake, they'll ask me if I can tell them where I am.